All right, so this is a tutorial on how to draw a cube. Uh, so we're going to start by having a line straight up and down. All right, and then we're going to have one eye. It's like a Y. We got three lines right here. I'm going to make a line going this way. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to also make a line going you know, this way, go in the same direction that way. So you get these two are both going the same way. So yeah, it looks like the down arrow thing. Alright, now I have one line vertical line going up and down. I'm going to put one right here, another up and down line, and another up and down line right here. Okay, so we got our first two sides. Third side, we've got three lines here, one, two, three, so they're all going the same way, all the same way, and then we're going to have this last line, which is going the same as these two. So we've got our cube here. Now I'm going to make one much bigger right here for the value and stuff. This is the size of your sketchbook. So I'm going to do about the same size. So again, straight up and down, myself a Y. I'm pressing lightly, so it's okay. If I mess up, I can erase. Two more lines that are going the same direction as here. A straight up and down line. Straight up and down, straight up and down. Then up here, I've got one going across, another going across. This one goes this way, this one. Alright, I've got all that taken care of. Now I'm going to have this be my light source. So the light's coming down this way, which means the shadow is on this side. And my shadow is based on this point right here, so it's, that point's going to come down. And then this angle right there, it's this right here, so it starts right here. So our First part of our shadow goes that way, and now we're going to have it ends right about there. So it doesn't end at the corner, it ends up here. There's my shadow. There. So um, for shading the the all the shading, we've got our highlight right here because the sun's hitting here the most. So this is our one we don't touch. There's going to be a tiny bit of shading down here. A little bit of shading, so this is our two value, your two area, which is light, but not the highlight. Three, right here, which is the darkest shadow on the shape. Right here is going to be a four, which is the reflected light that bounces off the table and lands on uh, the shape. And then five is the cast shadow. So I'm going to use cross hatching just because it, it better uh, what, illustrates, shows what I'm talking about. So my two, I'm going to have lines going two directions. So I got two. I'm also going to have two up here. And our lines going two directions. So same value. White. Maybe right here. Three right here and, and four. And then I cut, I'll just cover the entire thing. And I'll do three directions, three different directions to make it dark or darker than the two. Up and down line. Alright, so it's darker. And then I want the three value to be even darker, so I'm spending some more time. Making some more lines on the three area. All right, uh, let's go a little more. I like that. And then the final area, number five, the cast shadow, is going to be super dark. So lots of cross hatching. All 
All right. And we have ourselves pretty much there at the uh, If you're going to be shading, it'll be smooth. Uh, and uh, not shading, blending. Blending, it'll be more of a smooth look to it. Um, but again, one highlight, two light, three shadow, four reflected light, five uh, cast shadow. 